afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are QWERTY. I'm Simon, the Managing Director. I'm Antonia, the Sales Director. I'm Holly, the Marketing Director. And I'm George, the Human Resources Director. And it's my job to perform a group appraisal on the past nine months. So, team, who have we become? QWERTY. Home of the QWERTY band. A unique, quirky, multifunctional band that can solve your organisational problems. Great. As we know, objectives are the stepping stones to achieving our mission statement. So I hope you've been setting them. Of course. Team and personal objectives are a vital part of our company, providing us with a sense of direction. And are they being reviewed and updated? Yes, frequently, as we learn about the market and to match our current activities. Well, we've mentioned innovative products in our mission statement. Risky if customer needs aren't thoroughly assessed. Did you do this? Naturally. Our market research found a huge gap in the market and the QWERTY band prototype was designed based on our findings. Pricing is essential. $1.99 seems suitable considering the recession and cost of 77p per band. Our profit margin increased when costs were due to 21p with new suppliers. We've also developed our product range with a new range of colours and sizes. As our product is for school organisers, students are the target market. But how did you keep the customers satisfied? Market research kept us market orientated. We adjusted to an unexpected demand from teachers and business people by accommodating their requests. Also, our marketing plan changes depending on upcoming events, as promotional materials in school differ to those in the town centre. Great. In our last appraisal, there was clear leadership from Sonam. Are you delegating roles and responsibilities each week? Yes, causing everyone to develop leadership skills. Preparing for sales events has meant Antonia delegates tasks to Liam, strengthening their interrelations. Teamwork and the interaction of functions has proven crucial during the production process and when creating the marketing plan. Yes, I know. We suffer when the secretary left. But how's the company administration now? Effective. Minutes are emailed to all and the website calendar is updated with important events and sales activities, taking advantage of IT. It's imperative to know our financial situation, so the interim profit and loss account is explained to members in meetings. Well, not being mathematical, can you show me what all these numbers mean? Our net profit is £153.98. Our net profit margin means for every £1 in revenues, 44.5 pence is profit. Due to remaining stock and a full order book, we anticipate that we will make a net profit of £345.11. Our return on capital employed is 127.8%. If this was Dragon's Den, they'd be fighting each other to invest in us. So this is a good performance, considering our main objective is to learn from the competition rather than making money. Fantastic. But now the feared part of the appraisal. Problems. Well, flooding has been a big problem. Yes, but I think they're referring to the last nine months. Ah, oh, right. Well, production has been a big problem. The sewing machine wasn't suitable for sewing on the coloured bands. In fact, they got chewed up, resulting in slave labour. Yeah, do you know how many times I pricked my finger sewing these bands? Yeah, well, selling high-quality products keeps our valuable reputation high. And we've improved health and safety standards since then. So is the team communicating well? Yes, our flat organisational structure allows easy communication between members, implementing effective lines of communication, travelling upwards to, to me, the managing director. Initially, verbal communication alone from the managing director was inefficient, so we widened our communication methods to the website, constant emailing and delegation from functional directors. Meaning all deadlines are met whilst enforcing horizontal communication. And the school bulletin allows us to inform shareholders, maintaining good relations. Sounds good, but has this helped the team develop? Yes, we can all call supplies and book pitches really confidently now. Young Enterprise has given us the opportunity to put our business theory into action. Stronger interrelations now means problems preparing marketing materials are solved quicker between myself and the IT director. Who's now sewing better than his grandma. A skill he won't be putting on his CV. Well, it's undeniable that the key to success was me. Perhaps innovation. Have you seen a QWERTY band anywhere before? Yeah, George's clumsy snapping of an elastic band turned to a valuable, highly recognised QWERTY band. People can't understand how they cope without one. And entrepreneurship. Even though DeFerris is the largest school in Staffordshire, we didn't stop there. We contacted feeder schools and small businesses to book sales pitches as well. Our next objective is to enter the corporate world, and to do this, we're outsourcing production, researching painting rights, and contact contacting the Chamber of Commerce. So businesses will eventually hand out quota bands with their logo instead of company pens. Well, you've learned a great deal, met your current objectives, and you're working towards your new set of objectives. So, appraisal complete, and I think it's time for a pay rise. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you for your time.